In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 to 15 pieces of wisdom that helped change my life and is constantly being applied to my life in order to better myself every single day. Stay tuned to the end of this one, man. You do not wanna miss it. Justice League family. What's going on with y'all, man? I pray everybody's feeling blessed, energy up. Today is the day that the Lord has made and we shall be glad and rejoice in it, man. I pray everybody out there is feeling the presence of the Lord, the fruits of the spirits today. You know what I'm saying? I thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to my channel, coming back to my video. Smash that like button down below for me. It helps my channel out, it gets the messages out. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I just thank you guys for all the support. If you're new to my channel, I go by King Justice, man. I got a lot of new subscribers coming on the channel. I'm thankful for it. I got a lot of people watching me who are not subscribing. So I go by King Justice, man. I'm a Christian artist, a motivational speaker, and I teach as I learn. I'm here to help you along your journey. That's what I'm called to do by the Most High God. On this side, you already know what it is. Say it with me if you're not saying it. We all about truth. Light, love, peace, positivity, elevation, motivation, growth, knowledge, wisdom, getting better every single day for the most high God. So if you have not subscribed and joined the family, man, it's free. I got fire music available, a lot of good content on my channel. If you rock with the content, just hit that subscribe button, man. I appreciate it, I love you guys. Today's video, today's message. 10 to 15 pieces of advice, wisdom I've received over the years that has changed my life and is constantly changing my life to this day. Eyes locked on the road, you know how it goes, man, but I'm with y'all the whole way. Now, I'm not referencing scripture, right? I wanted to in this video, I didn't have time to write it down. I've been busy working on the mixtape, you know, getting every, all the, all the um, loose ends tied up, you know, stuff like that. So, in this video, I'm not going to be giving out the wisdom I've received from the Bible, obviously, but these are biblical principles that you can apply to your life. You know, um, some of the greatest wisdom I've found in the Word of God is Proverbs, obviously. There's a lot in Job. There's a lot in Psalms. There's a lot in every book in the Bible. You can take wisdom um, from the Bible if you have understanding. You can take that knowledge, apply it to your life, and gain wisdom that way. Those are books that I love reading when I'm, um, you know, seeking you know, more more in-depth um, knowledge about certain aspects. But these are just things I wrote down. These are things that you can apply to your life. These are also things that require you to have zero talent, right? So I see a lot of people um, struggling, you know, feeling like they don't have a purpose. They don't have any talent. They don't know um, how to start doing whatever it is, you know, they want to do. Maybe they don't even know what they want to do. Well, these are things that you can apply to yourself that don't require no talent. They don't require anything. They would just require you to, you know, do them. Anybody and everybody can do these things. And um, ultimately, it'll help you. It'll just better, better your life overall. First things first, man. Be on time. Be on time. That don't require no talent. I don't care what it is or what you're doing. Make sure you're on time. If you're setting goals for yourself, if you're setting deadlines for yourself, whatever the case may be, make sure you remain on time. Not only so you can be a man of your word, just like God is a man of his word, right? Because we got to remain men of our word, especially if we represent God out here. You know, but also so you can begin to trust yourself. Be on time. It don't take no talent. You know, make sure you show up and make sure you, whenever, whatever it is, whatever time you say you're going to show up, even for yourself, for God, for others, whoever it may be, make sure you're on time. You know, it's a simple practice that's helped me um, accomplish a lot. You know, if I say I'm going to do it by this time, I usually try my best to get it done by that time, you know, and the more you do it, the more you rinse, repeat you know, the, the um, consistency in it is going to ultimately just build trust with not only yourself, but you and God and you and others. Being on time is crucial, man. It's slept on. Another thing, this is something that I learned. People 
along your journey, right? When you're walking this walk, just in life in general, man. We ain't gonna go too deep. We ain't gonna go into a chosen one aspect of this one, but just in general, people come and go, right? You gotta understand some people are gonna come and go in and out of your life. But this is what you need to always remember is the right ones, the right people are always gonna stay. People are gonna come and go, man. You know, there's been so many um, relationships that I've developed over the years that I thought were lifelong. I thought that, you know, whatever the case may be. And, you know, ultimately, I, I, most of them people left. I don't have many people in my life um, that started with me, right? Since childhood, since high school, since after high school, whatever the case may be, because people come and go. Not everybody's meant to go where you're going. You know, people outgrow each other. People have different beliefs. People don't see eye to eye. People, you know, um, struggle with a lot of different spiritual things as well. Like I said, we're not gonna go too deep into that on this video, but it's just a fact. You gotta learn that people are gonna come and go. You gotta accept, um, you know, the fact that not everybody is going where you're going. You gotta understand that if someone wants to walk away, you let them walk away. You know, don't force anybody to try to stay with you ever. Um, I had a hard time with that. I struggled with that, you know, from childhood sc scars and stuff like that. I've had to um, do some self-reflecting, inner healing with God because of, you know, I didn't understand why everybody would leave all the time. But the most times made it clear, you know, sometimes he's got to get people out of your life because they ain't, they can't come with you, man. He sees things that you don't see. He knows things that you don't know, you know, so you got to accept that. That's just another piece of advice. This is simple right here, but it it slept on. People don't understand that this is really slept on. Make an effort. Number three, make an effort. Make sure you're making an effort. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out here who don't even make the effort. There's a lot of people who put no effort into anything, no time into themselves, no time into bettering themselves or their lives. You know, the most effort they put in is, you know, I don't know, watching social media or scrolling on their phone. You know, make an effort in whatever it is you do. Really give it effort. You know, the more you give an effort in something, um, the more it's going to grow, the more you'll be become better at it, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got some traffic, so I got to pay attention, man. But make sure you're making an effort in all things you're doing. I don't care what it is. Like I said, make sure, though, that you're giving a full effort, whether it's working, whether it's your hobby, even your relationship with God, right? Make an effort. Pick your word up. Read your Bible. Pray. Fast. Make an effort somewhere. Right? Make sure you're making an effort. I don't care what it is. It's going to propel you in life and drive you further in life. Number four, man. This one right here. Whew. Your words are powerful. I'm telling y'all. People don't understand. You know, it sounds so... Um, It's also been so cliche, I guess, now. But people really don't understand the power in the tongue. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. The Bible does not say that. God's word does not say that just for no reason. Just to sound cool. Just to sound good. Right? Just to sound like, oh, that sounds, you know, that, that sounds really cool or really good. Or maybe that's true. No, it is true. Your words are powerful, man. So you got to use them wisely. Make sure you're not cursing yourself. Make sure you're not speaking ill over others. Make sure you're not speaking ill over yourself. That's why they call it spelling, right? We ain't going to dive too deep, but spelling. Think about it, right? You can cast spells with your words. You know, your spirit, man, the spiritual realm doesn't know the difference at times. So you got to watch what you're saying at all times. Make sure you are speaking life. You're speaking positive, right? You can curse your own self just by speaking a certain way. Words are powerful, man. I believe in the power of, you know, affirmations because the Bible speaks about it. I speak, I believe in the power of the tongue. You know, I believe in speaking um, things, not necessarily you manifesting them into your life because it's ultimately the most high God who's in control of everything and you want, you should want his will to be done. But I believe in, in, in speaking things over yourself. You know, speak good health. You know, speak... Um, against anything you're battling with do it consistently constantly over and over and over and over and over and over 
ultimately it's gonna help you retrain your mind reprogram your mind reprogram your subconscious reprogram what the world has told you to um, think about yourself and say about yourself and how you speak there's power in your tongue man use it wisely another one right here it don't require nothing for you to have high energy it does but keep your energy high make sure you are protecting your energy because energy energy is currency right just like you want to protect your wallet your bank cars all that stuff protect your energy and keep your energy up high this don't require no talent you know what i'm saying it might take some work you might have to get on the no fap semen retention you know you might have to um you know do certain things like fast and do other things to get your energy levels up but make sure you just keep a high energy about yourself man you know these this is gonna drive you in life it's gonna push you further than the next man than the man who's not making an effort being on time keeping his energy up speaking life over himself always worried about who's in his life and who's not in his life you know so you got to understand that a lot of people aren't doing just the simple basic stuff every day that's why a lot of people are in the situations and the predicaments they're in mentally physically spiritually they're just they're, they're, they're overlooking these small things man they're distracted caught up fapping out here worried about women worried about the next man's life what the next man has worried about um you know letting social media make them feel like they ain't doing good in life whatever the case may be sitting and you sitting in that and not going anywhere man another piece of advice i got and i got to tell myself this all the time is as long as you're making an effort right and you're truly making an effort you're doing enough you are doing enough even if it feels like you're not you're doing enough if you're waking up every day and you've applied the five things i've said right you at least do these things you are doing enough make sure you're making an effort and you are doing enough some days you know you may feel like man i'm not doing um i'm not doing it like the next man i'm not doing it like them i could do more i could do more just know that you're doing enough right as long as you stay consistent as long as you continue day every day every day every day apply these things to your life you're doing enough man you're doing more than most know that okay number seven six i don't even know what we're on now keep keep a positive attitude i had a lot of attitude problems man before i came to christ before i came to god i still struggle on and off obviously i'm in the flesh i'm human but keep your your attitude positive about any situation try to find the positive in any and every situation even the trials and tribulations in your life even the hard times learn a lesson from it try to take the lesson from it try to stay positive keep your attitude positive towards situations too many people out here are bitter you know what i'm saying too many people out here or they just give off negative energy they're full of envy full of hate full of jealousy they looking at the next man constantly wondering you know what he's got why he's got it hating on people speaking bad speaking ill talking just a bunch of garbage no value in their conversation keep a positive attitude man energy up you know what i'm saying these things will get you further in life they're slept on man i promise you when i say it i mean it they're slept on they get overlooked people act like oh well i've already heard that since i was a kid at times whatever but they've never applied it to their lives you know the minute i started doing these things i started seeing progress man i truly did i started seeing progress in my life yeah this is another one right here failure is when you don't try at all know that i feel like i've never failed in life i've only learned lessons why because i've always at least tried i've always at least tried if you are not making an effort you are failing a hundred percent you have got to remember to make an effort at least try if you gotta fail a hundred times at least you're trying right you are learning lessons in that failure man i remember there were so many times where i didn't want to i knew you know my spirit but i was dealing with you know spiritual things and and going through anxiety depression witchcraft right fighting off demonic things that were being placed on me by others and also the doors i opened up in my life were trying to fight against me all the time and i wasn't making an effort anywhere in my life i was just sitting around right 
and I mean, there was some reasons behind it. Like I said, I was homeless. I was also always tired. Um, it took a lot for me to even just get up for the day at some points in my life. But you know, I look back at that and I'm like, if I would have just made an effort, if I would have just tried at one thing, just one, sometimes that's, that's all you can do, right? Just do one thing, just try. You know, I probably would have got out of the situations I was in um, faster, you know? You can even make an effort, just pick up your Bible, read the Bible, say a prayer, pray more. Like little stuff, man, make an effort. That's all I'm saying, make an effort. I don't care what it is. It doesn't gotta be some spectacular grand thing. Little things, make an effort. If you are not trying, you are failing, 100%. This right here, this is all, this is what I base my, it's just natural for me, man. This don't take no talent. Stay passionate. You got to stay passionate out here, man. Keep your passion, man. Passion's going to drive your purpose. Stay passionate. Don't let nobody kill your passion either. Because a lot of people out here, man, they killed their passions. They've killed their dreams. They let the world kill all those things for them right and now they're bitter they're mad they see anybody that's passionate about anything them demons that are in them oh man they they, they can't stand it right they're like they don't want to see somebody joyful and happy and passionate about something don't let nobody or nothing kill your passions in life people are gonna hate people aren't gonna understand it people are broken people need jesus people need christ pray for people man but never ever ever Stop being passionate. I don't care what you're passionate about either. Remain passionate. It's going to drive your purpose. It's going to drive you further in life. Whatever it is you're passionate about, you should be doing that every single day. Every single day. No excuses. No reason why you shouldn't. Passion has drove me for a very long time now. Most people hate passion. Most people can't stand it for whatever reason because like I said they're lacking they let someone else kill their dreams you know they are following orders and letting the next man dictate what they can like and what they can't like and what they can do and what they can't do and who they are and who do you know etc etc man stay passionate this one right here live for today stop worrying about tomorrow live for today and stop worrying about tomorrow, man. Tomorrow is already worrying about itself. The Bible speaks about it. It already has enough problems. You know, tomorrow's bringing whatever it brings. Too many people forget to live in the moment. Live for today. You have 24 hours when you wake up or whatever, however many hours when you wake up, depending on your sleep patterns. You know, attack that day with everything you got. You know? Allow God to lead you, guide you, direct you, say your prayers. You know what I'm saying? It's a new day. Live for that day. Get as much as you can done every single day. Don't worry about next week and, oh, well, I don't know what's coming tomorrow. I don't know. Don't live like that, man. I used to live like that all the time. I, w I was constantly, um, you know, it's, it's, a good, it's a good thing to plan for your future, obviously, right? But when you begin to walk by faith and trust God, you start to learn that, like, you, you, you let a lot of that stuff go, right? You just live every day, right? You apply these things every day. You wake up, you know that you got another day. Tomorrow's not promised, but you are here today. You're still breathing, so live for today. Let tomorrow worry about itself. Let next week worry about itself, whatever the case may be. Live for today, man. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one right here, man. I got to speak on this. Overthinking, right? If you're constantly overthinking, I have struggles with overthinking it will kill your happiness i'll tell you right now if you're constantly overthinking well oh i don't know if i could do it. i don't know you know maybe they won't like it maybe they will like it oh, i don't know if i could you know uh, uh whatever the case you know overthinking a, a situation it's going to constantly keep you sad depressed worried anxious all of these things that god does not want you to be you know don't overthink a situation pray to god get the direction get the guidance whatever it is you're seeking and do it just do it most of the time man when you just do something it's it, it it ends up becoming some of the greatest experiences of your life 
an example analogy I can give is when you just finally decide, all right, I'm gonna get on the roller coaster, even though I'm scared and I've been overthinking it for 30 minutes. When you decide, all right, I'm finna just get on this roller coaster, I'm about to get on this ride. When you get off the ride, after you just do it, right, you just get in line and you get strapped in and you take off. When you get off the ride, it's usually one of the funnest things you've experienced, right? All that fear, all that anxiety is out the window once you do it. It's the same thing with life in general, man. Don't overthink a situation. If you want to start a social media platform, if you want to, um, you know, make music and put your music out there for people to hear, if you make clothes and you want to show your clothes to people, maybe they want to, um, you know, just show off your gifts and your talents, however you want to do it. Don't overthink it. Oh, well, I'm not, I don't think people will like me. I don't know if people will like me. I don't know. I don't this, that. I used to be like that, man. Don't overthink a situation. You know, the only thing that you should think about is, is this lining up with what God has told me? Is this lining up with God's word? Is this lining up with God's will in my life? If it is, okay, then I'm doing it. I ain't going to overthink it. I ain't worried about man. I ain't worried about people. I ain't worried about none of that. You're going to remain stagnant. You're going to remain in a place of like just depression, constantly in your head, constantly in your mind, not living, just existing right and the devil's in your head running around making you overthink and second guess everything about yourself all the actions and moves you want to make in life don't overthink a situation yeah this is another one man this is a huge one this is a this is one that i feel like a lot of people um are thriving in but there's a lot of people who are just simply not coachable right you got to be coachable you got to learn how to be able to soak up some knowledge and wisdom from somebody. You got to understand and be humble enough to know that you don't have it figured out, man. You don't got this whole thing figured out. Life is for you is not all figured out. I don't care if you're 50, 60, 70, 20, 18, 30, 45, whatever the case may be. You have always, you got to remain coachable your whole life. Remain coachable. You can always learn something from somebody. Right. And also you want to be taught by the creator. Right. You want to also be directed and guided and led by God. God needs you to stay coachable for him as well. Right. So remain coachable. This is how you grow in life. Remain a student. Even if you're a teacher, a preacher who, you know, someone that has wisdom and knowledge, someone that has um, been through trial and error and learned things and been through some things, you know, that you can teach others. You still got to remain coachable. You got to remain teachable. I'm always constantly seeking knowledge and wisdom from others, right? If somebody has something that they want to, you know, tell me, show me, even in the Bible, wherever, whatever it may be, I'm always, I always will give an ear, right? I'm always looking to study and listen and learn and level up and, you know, soak in some knowledge and wisdom that I can apply to my life. You need to remain that way as well so you can go further in life. All right, so never look back. I have so much written down, so never look back, be kind, stay prepared, and have a strong work ethic. Ain't no reason to look back at your past. Ain't no reason to constantly live in your past, constantly live in regret. That's what the enemy wants for your life. Stop doing it. Let it go. One of the main reasons why people can't get out of their past is usually because they're lacking forgiveness. Usually, they're still hurt. Usually, whatever it may be, when you forgive and let go, it sets you free, right? So you got to understand, whatever your past, whatever it is, get out of it. I've experienced some things that shifted my life forever, right? But I don't dwell on them. I'm not going to sit there and look at them every single day and say, well, dang, my dad died when I was 12. Dang, I was around drugs. I was too little. Dang, I was this. Dang, uh, uh, and look back at everything in my life right in my past and constantly just relive it because i ain't, it ain't gonna get me nowhere man you gotta push forward don't look back there's nothing back there for you it happened there's nothing you can do to change it you can't control it the only thing you can control is today and where you're at today and how you can become better than you were yesterday don't look back in your past stop looking back in your past be kind man gets you far in life just check in on people right say hi to some smile at somebody today you know, if you can bless somebody, bless somebody today. You know, even with the, the demons running out around out here and all these weirdos and the agents we got around us, be kind. You know, show love. It, it, kindness takes you so far in life, man. 
be a blessing to somebody today. You know what I'm saying? Remain kind. Even if you don't got no material, nothing like that, just smile, wave, how you doing? Ask somebody how they doing today. Check in on a loved one if you have loved ones around you still. Be kind. Do something kind today. You know, that's something that I had to learn because I come from a certain part of the world where being kind was not taught. If somebody was being kind, they was usually trying to um, scam you, scheme you, get in your life and try to rob you or mess you up. You know, and I had to learn, you know, over time that it's okay to, to, to be kind to somebody, man. Show some kindness. Stop being so prideful. Stop being so reserved. Stop acting like you're better than everybody else or whatever the case. You know, whatever drives people to not want to do um, just one kind act a day. And it doesn't have to be something spectacular. Have a strong work, that work ethic. This is huge, man. You know, I had to teach myself this, you know, for the longest time. Even right now, I struggle with day jobs. I can't stand day jobs, man. You got to do it. You got to have food on the table. You got to have some form of income, but I cannot stand a day job. A dead-end day job, it, it gets tough for the chosen ones, right? Because we got big ideas. God has given us massive ideas. You know, most of us want um, are striving to be entrepreneurs, successful business owners. You know what I'm saying? Kingdom ambassadors. The list goes on and on and on. But no matter what you're doing, I had to teach myself and learn. Remain strong in your work ethic. Even if it's the day job, get up every day, work as hard as you can, right? And also not just with a day job, but whatever it is you're working on, right? If you're building a business, if you are um, an artist, if you, like I said, the list goes on and on and on. If you're a creator, whatever it is, just remain strong in your work ethic. You know, you are ultimately is you versus you. That's the last piece of advice and piece of wisdom I'm giving off, man. It's you versus you. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop looking at everybody else and where everybody else is in life and how they got there. It's you versus you. Be better today than you were yesterday, man. I love you, Justice League family. This video is a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but I thank you guys for the love, the support. Leave a comment down below. Drop some wisdom in my comments for me. How about that? Give me some some of the greatest pieces of um, advice, wisdom. Let's spread wisdom on this on this video. Leave it in the comment section down below. Smash that like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, like I said, hit subscribe, man. I appreciate you guys. Balance is on the way. You don't want to miss it. I'm telling y'all, man, it's worth that twenty dollars. I know it's a mixtape. I know I'm putting the price point at twenty bucks. It's kind of high, but I, there's a reason for it. There's a reason behind it. So just support your boy when it comes out. I can't wait to share it with you guys, man. Say a prayer for your brothers out here. Say a prayer for your sisters and say a prayer for yourself. Justice League family, we still out here on superhero status. Speak life over yourself. We setting the captives free. One message and one video at a time. And until next time, man, it's your boy, King Justice.